Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to your channel, Efficient Corporates. So today we will be looking at how we can make our own screen recording app. Yes, it's a very simple uh, Python uh, program again, and it's just uh, seven to eight lines of code. And with that seven to eight lines of code, we will be looking at how we can make our own screen recording app. So let's start. So um, if you uh, have done screen recording before, there are many apps through which we can do it. And one is the very shortcut of Windows G. So once you do the Windows G, sometimes even it uh, lets you do the screen recording in, in your app and it's an inbuilt feature of Windows. So, but if you do not want to use that and you want to do some Python related stuff or uh, a simple video recording. So this is a very uh, small code. I would say just like maybe eight to 10 lines of code. You can just copy paste the code and when you run the code, it will start recording everything what's there on the, uh, what has been displayed on your window. Okay, so you can see in that bottom, you cannot see it right now, but a Python, a small Python uh, symbol will be generated, a app will be generated, which will be named secret capture and that will run on the background. So you can just uh, turn whenever you want to look at that uh, app, you can just simply click on it. Now, whatever you are typing it, uh, on the windows you are like i have like i've opened the excel file and i'm typing name serial number class division and whatever i do whatever i have been doing in this system that is getting recorded through that app which is running on the background okay so i can do whatever i want and it's very helpful when i want to explain something to the other person like where sound is not required okay because this uh, this capture will not capture your sound whatever the system sound or any video is being played, that sound will not be captured. Only the visual thing that what you are doing that will get captured. So I think in offices, it are very, it is very useful. If you want to like record something and you can show it to your subordinate, like this is how you should do it. So for video for screen recording is a very good app. Now, once you are done recording, what to do so that the app in, uh, in the bottom, which I can't show you right now. If you click on that, the secret capture window will be opening. And once you open that, you have to click on Q. The, the first letter Q in your, key, in your keyboard, and it should, and it should be small Q. The catch box will not be open. So as soon as you press Q, the window will uh, minimize, and then and the window will minimize, and uh, and the video will get recorded. Now the second tool is that was one code, which uh, usually works in most of the cases, but in 10% of the cases, it, the first code will not work. So for that, I have that screen recording underscore two. So what will happen is, uh, in case the first one does not work in your case, then you can uh, write the code of the second screen recording and you can run this one. So this should work and it will work as it worked for the first one. You can open an Excel file. You can, you can write what you want and whatever you are writing, it is getting, getting captured into that small icon uh, named secret capture. Okay. So, uh, so the, the drill is very simple. Open the, uh, open the Jupyter notebook, write that code and run the code. Once you run the code, a small app will be generated at between and at, at the very bottom and it will start recording your screen. Okay. When you want to close it, simply open that secret capture app and press Q. Once you press Q for some time, it might become like not responding or something because it depends on the file size. So uh, once uh, after few seconds, it will, and then you will get such video files. Like I've got this video file of 11 MB. Uh, if I open this uh, video file, the VLC player, then it will show me whatever screen was recorded. So I'm just opening this uh, particular video file to show you what got captured. So this had, this had got captured. Okay, the secret capture is there and whatever we were doing, all those things got captured. We opened the Excel file, we wrote serial number, class division. So these things we were doing and so that is why all these things got captured. And this is being played in that VLC player. Okay, so yeah, so in this way, this is a very like inbuilt uh, screen recording app if you want to like uh, do it uh, on your own. So in that way, this works. And uh, I guess, yeah, it's very simple tool. You can simply copy paste the code and work. So there are two types of code screen recording one and two. You can uh, see anyone which you like. Okay. So I hope you were able to uh, go through the video and see that how 
using this small python code we were able to make something as good as a screen recorder because trust me when i wanted to do a screen recording uh, while for making my videos i had to struggle for many of the apps and uh, i couldn't find any such very easy tool so i thought of let's make one and um, yes so here here it is copy paste the code either of one either one or two copy paste the code run it on jupyter notebook and bang on you have the <clears throat> you have the screen recording app with you thank you so much and thanks for watching and stay tuned for many more such videos